welcome back. We are so excited to be covering the CIFA Cup here at South. The South Internal Football Association is at full steam ahead this season. Yes, I am so excited about this game. Can you just feel the excitement? Uh, today's matchup, Ostrowski versus Bingman, it's going to be an amazing match. Oh, the coaches look so disappointed with that one. Dang, that was a stone cold stunner over there with that fall. How does that even happen? The ball didn't even move. I'll tell you. you got two kickers kicking the same ball at the same time in opposite directions. Let's say one, one kicker kicks it with a force of 500 newtons, the other one kicks it with a force of 500 newtons in the opposite direction. The net force on that ball, zero newtons. That ball doesn't move at all. That sounds about right. That makes sense. Great pass by Ostrowski to Ostrowski. Look at those West fans celebrate. It just got away from East. Amazing. Look at the acceleration on that ball. How does a kicker even exert that much force on a ball at once? It was pretty unbelievable, but if you notice, Ostrowski and Bingaman were both um, exerting their force in the same direction. So if each of them exerted 500 newtons on that ball, those 500 newtons are added together to create a net force on the ball of 1,000 newtons. Amazing. Ostrowski shoots. Access denied. Well, East is happy about that. Wow, look at that shot by Ostrowski towards the goal. It was amazing. She does such an awesome job managing all the forces on that ball. So that friction from the grass is just subtracting from the force of her kick on the ball. She's also fighting against the weight of that ball due to gravity. The net force of her kick is still enough for it to move forward, even if there is that friction pushing back. I, I admit there's some. she's managed the forces very well there, but I want to talk about that stop by Bingaman. Look at that. The, the ball is coming in. The momentum of the ball is very high but he exerts just the exact same force on the ball that's needed to accelerate it in the opposite direction. We call that deceleration. The ball speed after the force, zero meters per second. I guess I'll have to agree with you on that. And now for our CIFA halftime show, sponsored by South 7 Science. The true star of this match is actually the forces. Forces have both size and direction. Arrows are used to show the direction of the force. Large arrows are used to show large forces, while small arrows are used to show smaller forces. The real action starts when we start looking at net force. Net force is the total sum of all the forces in an object. It both takes into account the size and direction of the forces acting on the object together. And it also determines the acceleration or the change in speed for that object. What an amazing first half to the game. The amount of net force being just thrown around the field was just unbelievable. I am, I am so excited about what we saw this first half. I am certain when we see the second half of this game, we're gonna see the best team prevail. Which is like West, right? No. <laughs>